Very clearly in Glacier National Park, the glaciers are disappearing. In 1850 or so, there probably were about 150 active glaciers. Uh, today we're down to 25 or 30 active glaciers. These uh, still active glaciers will become inactive in the next 10 or 15 years, and uh, pretty soon many of them won't be glaciers at all. So. Glaciers are like banks of water up in the alpine zones. It's an enormous quantity of water. And as the glaciers melt uh, year round, and especially during the summertime, they're feeding cold water into the, the headwaters of these streams. So if the glaciers are completely gone from these streams, the temperatures will in the streams will increase uh, dramatically over time and eventually the stream will change to from a permanent status to more temporary, so they'll dry up. There are some animals which can, can live in temporary streams, but the whole alpine community, for the most part that we're working with, needs a permanent source of very cold water uh, to survive. The animals that we're working on are animals called stoneflies. Stoneflies are a very diverse group of aquatic insects that live in streams throughout the world. So there's Lednia tamana, the meltwater stonefly. That was petitioned for protection under the Endangered Species Act due to the effects of climate change in 2007. And then another species, Zapata glacier, was petitioned in 2010. We don't know what they eat, don't really know what their life cycle is. The immature forms, the nymphs are in the streams throughout the year. Um, the adults emerge in the fall. Uh, they'll be crawling around on the rocks, but otherwise very little is known about them. Lednia tumana is only known from the what we call the crown of the continent ecosystem. That's Glacier and Waterton National Park. We think that it probably extends up into Canada farther, but it really it is a very, very restricted area uh, that this species inhabits. So as the glaciers and snow masses decrease, the chances for the extinction of these species uh, definitely increases. Is it too late to do anything about climate change? And the answer is yes. I mean, we're on this freight train that is going, and you know, the decisions we make in the next uh, 10 to 30 years are really critical for where we're gonna end up in 100 or 200 years in terms of climate change. As climates change, um, and the conditions change in any particular spot, um, for a population of organisms that's in a, in a particular spot, they have a set of choices, if you will, and they're not consciously choosing among these, but their options are they can migrate to some new place in the world. Another option is to evolve and adapt. And um, a final option is for groups to go extinct, and that's probably the fate of, of many, uh, many groups that don't have options to migrate either because of you know human development in nearby areas so that they can't escape northward or escape uphill um, or because uh, they they're too small and they have too little genetic diversity to evolve and over time their population sizes will decline down to some critically low level 
And then all it takes is just one freak event uh, or even just a sort of whimper as they go out with not enough reproduction in, in the population mm -hmm. for those populations to go extinct. Mm -hmm. These stoneflies, um, Ledney, Tamana, and Zapata Glacier are just two species out of hundreds if not thousands of species and, and communities, also including human communities, um, which will be greatly influenced by the effects of climate change. Um, so ultimately, the stoneflies are sort of the canary in the coal mine. Um, they are the, the first species which potentially will go extinct due to the effects of climate change. People always ask me, what does it matter if, if these animals go extinct? And I guess we have to ask ourselves, what sort of price would you put on biodiversity? It's not just two species of, of rare, obscure, ugly little brown stoneflies um, that we're concerned with here. It's an entire community of really rare, really interesting animals that potentially could go extinct.